In this video, we'll continue working with artwork, and this time I'm going to select the same hard image and create it as a photo paint. And so let's go ahead and get started by choosing New, leave all of our techniques turned on, and say Next. Choose a light colored background, say Next, and then I'm just going to allow it to select the same Hearts JPEG as we did in the previous recording, say Next. And this time, instead of using it as a backdrop or tracing it, I'm going to say open it as photo paint, which is a different process altogether. And I'll say next. Now this time, it's creating a CMYK, you know, like the four kind of basic colors application that will um, be automatically created into, you know, embroidery stitches. Now, if I say finish, and actually, in this case, they're it, they're being converted into brush strokes because, again, I'm using my Simple Cut software. But if I switch over to using Artistic Suite, then I'll be able to do the same kind of process, but they'll make threads instead of you know brush strokes. Now, when I say finish, you get an idea of what it's created. That CMYK has been layered together, and I've, I'd almost have to zoom in kind of really closely so you could see how it's creating rows of black and rows of fuchsia and rows of cyan and rows of magenta, whatever, together to create the design. So that's how Photo Paint works. Now, there are some settings available. So if I select this shape, because it now just looks at the image as one shape. There's no, you know, it's not like Auto Trace where the heart was separate from the background. It just sees the image now. So I can select it. And basically, I can control the width and the density. And again, that's kind of talking about the rows and the column widths of them when it makes these. And I could change this 1.5 to, let's say, 2 and hit Enter, and you'd see a small difference. And I could change the density from 0.5 to, let's say, 0.6. And again, you'll see a small difference. So you have some ability to control your photo paint. You also have the option to choose monogram, monochrome, not monogram, monochrome. And when I go to monochrome, it takes it from a four color CMYK process to a single color, kind of like a more of a black and white or a mono monochrome being shades of one color. And so the way that it creates the dimensions here, let's just zoom in again. You can see that it, it makes more zigzag or less zigzag. So it just goes down these rows and where it sees kind of lighter area it opens up the zigzag and where it sees a darker area it makes it tighter and so this can be interesting now this is a um, you know we're looking at just a simple heart shape but if you put in an actual photograph of a person then this can actually create some very interesting effects so again that's the auto trace but it's using it as a as a photograph so it's auto photo paints and in my case i'm using the artistic simple cut software uh, but certainly I'm going to switch to using Artistic Suite in a moment and then we can see, you know, the small differences or the large differences, I guess, as the case may be, with the number of different choices for filling things in and styles of embroidery that we can create. 